there's been a lot of um, polymer modified bentonites in the marketplace for a long, long time. And I think, you know, I had experience with some of those. It was a little bit of a black box. Black magic might be a way of putting it. Sometimes it worked, sometimes they didn't. Uh, they were largely different uh, polymer blends with uh, bentonite changing surface properties, but they weren't what were created today. We, we had this idea uh, to create these composite materials, and um, this is a great example of, uh, in engineering and science, often you have an idea, and I'll tell you right now, it's completely wrong. Uh, but it showed us, it, while we were completely wrong in the beginning, we figured out the right path from making a series of mistakes. Nobody ever does that, right? Yeah, nobody, yeah. But that happens a lot. We, we had this idea, it was all about swelling, right? And we had that inner layer space. I've just shown this in, in a molecular way. A, a two to one sheet in the upper half of another two to one sheet. And then we had that inner layer space where water gets in and it swells. And our idea was, what if we could stick something into that space to hold it open? So it would start to swell, and then we would just like put a prop in there, like a let's call them in the room, right? So that when it got hit by a, a strong leachate, it wouldn't collapse, right? But it would just stay open and swell. So our idea was it, it would do this at a molecular level. Uh, and actually, this is interesting. At the time, there's a lot of federal investment in nanotechnology, and we actually uh, spun this as a nanotechnology project. What if we took a big mo a molecule, organic molecule, that was pretty resilient and cost effective and stuck it in between there? Let's wedge this big molecule in between there to hold it open. That was our idea. And, and if we took uh, a series of monomers and wedged them in there and then we could create a polymerization reaction, we could join them all together, create a polymer that would be relatively immobile. That was our idea. So stick this big organic molecule in there, polymerize it, hold open the sheet, and make it immobile. Um, and we could essentially open it up and force the swelling to stay in place. And we did that using a polyacrylate and bentonite. Poly polyacrylate's a pretty common polymer that you can buy commercially, non-toxic 